Good evening everyone. Welcome to Evening Prayer. On behalf of Stamford Methodist Church and Circuit, you're welcome. My name's William Booker and I'm one of the Circuit Ministers. I'm going to be leading the prayers for this week, Tuesday to Tuesday. This is the first week of Advent, so the Advent candle is lit and we're going to be basing our prayers on the order in the Methodist worship book and the readings are coming from the lectionary in the Methodist prayer handbook. So, let us pray. Be swift, O God, to save us. Come quickly, Lord, to help us. Then will the glory of the Lord be revealed, and all will see it together. Wait for the Lord, be strong and brave, and put your hope in the Lord. Our psalm this evening is Psalm 34, verses 1 to 12. I will bless the Lord at all times. I, his praise shall continually be in my mouth. My soul makes its boast in the Lord. Let the humble hear and be glad. O oh, magnify the Lord with me, and let us exalt his name together. I sought the Lord, and he answered me, and delivered me from all my fears. Look to him, and be radiant, so your faces shall never be ashamed. This poor soul cried and was heard by the Lord and was saved from every trouble. The angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him and delivers them. O oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Happy are those who take refuge in him. O oh, fear the Lord, you his holy ones, for those who fear him have no want. The young lions suffer want and hunger, but those who seek the Lord lack no good thing. Alleluia. And our readings for all this week are from the first letter to the Thessalonians, which may be the earliest um, book in the entire New Testament and probably the first of all the letters written by St Paul. So we begin chapter 1 from verse 1. Paul, Silvanus and Timothy to the church of the Thessalonians in God the Father and the Lord Jesus Christ, grace to you and peace. We always give thanks to God for all of you and mention you in our prayers constantly remembering before our God and Father your work of faith and labour of love and steadfastness of hope in our Lord Jesus Christ. For we know, brothers and sisters, beloved by God, that he has chosen you, because our message of the gospel came to you not in word only, but also in power and in the Holy Spirit and with full conviction just as you know what kind of persons we proved to be among you for your sake. And you became imitators of us and of the Lord, for in spite of persecution you received the word with joy, inspired by the Holy Spirit, so that you became an example to all the believers in Macedonia and in Achaia. For the word of the Lord has sounded forth from you, not only in Macedonia and Achaia, but in every place your faith in God has become known, so that we have no need to speak about it. For the people of those regions report about us what kind of welcome we had among you, and how you turned to God from idols to serve a living and true God, and to wait for his Son from heaven whom he raised from the dead, Jesus, who rescues us 
from the wrath that is coming. Thanks be to God for his word. Each year during Advent, it's a time to do the Christmas cards. And as I do the cards, I'm reminded of people who I've known sometimes for decades, who've been an inspiration to me, sometimes who've helped me, sometimes whose example has inspired me. Paul obviously felt very, very close with those first Christians at Thessalonica. He'd risked his life for them to share the gospel and they'd risked their lives for him. And so they were very, very important people to him and their memory was an inspiration to him. So let's thank God for those whose memory as an inspiration for us, who play that part in our lives. Let's pray. Thank you, Lord, for those who have inspired us by their lives, people we've known and people who we've heard about. We thank you for those who we are able to influence, support and help too. Hold us together in the life of Jesus. Empower us to love with your Holy Spirit and build us into one body of Christ, alive in him for the sake of this world that you love so much. We pray, Lord, for all those at this time of pandemic who depend on others and who are bound together by the relationship of trust. We pray for those who work and live in the care homes and nursing homes, hospitals and hostels. In this time, please May our trust not prove unworthy. Please inspire those who work and live there. And may they have a true sense of joy and companionship between them. We ask all these prayers in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, who taught us when we pray to say, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. And the collect for this first week of Advent. Almighty God, give us grace to cast away the works of darkness and to put on the armour of light. Now, in the time of this mortal life, in which your Son Jesus Christ came to us in great humility, that on the last day, when he shall come again in his glorious majesty to judge the living and the dead, we may rise to the life immortal through him who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and for ever. Amen. Lord our God, at the ending of this day, and in the darkness and silence of this night, cover us with healing and forgiveness, that we may take our rest in peace, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. 
and may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all now and for evermore.